Let's talk about how to install one of these hall sensor connectors. Now a lot of kits are going to come with the hall sensor wires actually bare just like this, not inside the connector. And you're going to have to put them in this connector yourself. Now it's very easy, but let's just look at how to do this. Now what I like to do is start by putting this empty connector already on the connector for the controller. This way we can line up the holes and see exactly which one of these colored wires is going to go where on the motor's hall connector. So now when you look at these pins, you're going to see each one has this little tooth on it. This little tooth is going to allow it to clip inside of the connector here. Now if you come over here and you take a look at the back side of these connectors, you're going to see there's a little bit of an indentation where that tooth is meant to go. So when you slide these pins in, you're going to make sure that the tooth on the pin is on the correct side of that indentation. Now you can just line these up. I like to start with the red one first. And you can use a tool if you need to. I like to use a little flathead screwdriver just to push it the rest of the way in until you hear the click. And give it a little tug. If, if you give it a little tug and it doesn't come back out, then you know you've got it in there correctly and that tooth is caught. So then you'll just continue lining up the correct colors here. Now I'm working on the black one. I'll just slide it in with a little flathead screwdriver click. And now I know it's in there nice and, nice and firm. Now I'm just going to come down here and you can see on the bottom that we've got three more wires here blue, green, and yellow. I'm just going to align those the same way. I'll start with the green one here in the middle and I'm just going to slide it in and make sure I hear that click. That click's important. That's how you know that it's in there. And once I hear the click, I can move on. Next I'm going to take the blue one here. Same thing. Slide that sucker in there. Click. And then lastly I'm going to take the yellow pin here. And it's the same thing here. You're just going to slide it in, making sure you've got the tooth on the correct side until you feel the click. Now there's one last thing here. Here we've got a sixth sensor wire. And if you look on the controller, there's not a sixth wire here. So sometimes these motors come with a sixth wire, sometimes it's a temperature sensor. Um, if you have it, you can go ahead and slide it in there. You don't necessarily need it. You'll see on these controllers it's not even going to be used. Uh, or you can just cut it off. It's just not a necessary uh, wire that we're, we're not using in this case. Now, if you were going to need to remove one of these pins, I like to use a pick. You can use a flathead screwdriver, pretty much anything with a small point. You're going to come down inside of the connector and just work on the little tooth there. So you've got to push down that little tooth until it slides back out of the hole. So now if I want to remove this middle pin that we actually didn't need here, I'm just going to press on that tooth, slide it out a little bit to check, and then now I can just pull gently from the back side of this pin and pull it right out now that I've depressed that tooth. Now that I've got that pin out, I'm going to go ahead and take one more out here. I'm going to go in this top right pin, depress the tooth there, slide the pin back to confirm I've got it, and yep, now I can just go ahead and slide the pin right out. Now once you've got all your pins in, you can just slide these connectors together and you're ready to go. It's a very simple process.